How's it going, everybody? Uh, I'm back. First video of the year. Um, I think my last one was about two months ago, back in December or so. Uh, since then, I've gotten me a new camera and camera setup. So I now should be able to film uh, in a lot better conditions. Uh, video should be at least a lot smoother, um, more polished, I should say. Uh, using a little GoPro setup here. So at least uh, I'll have both my hands free to show off the goods. Um, and speaking of which, I, I hadn't gotten anything in the, in the last few months or so until now. Um, and it's the latest Comiket package from Muvlove. Um, it's uh, every year all, all the Muvlove or uh, the Comiket conventions uh, Age decides to release a Move Love package, as you could uh, call it, and I managed to get my hands on the latest one um, with all the items, because I had to get them all separately. Um, but I managed to get all of them, and I'm here to show you them for a quick first look, I guess, preview, as most of my videos are. And so, starting off, got this little um, Schwarzmarken bag that you get with it. This is, uh, I would assume, the bag that you hold all of your Comiket items in for at least this uh, package of items. Uh, and so first on the list though, will be a Beatrix Docky. This is the same one that is uh, recently added to the Kickstarter list of dockies. Um, so this is kind of like a first look at that. However, it's not. I can't really call it a first look since it's. Uh, I'm not going to be opening it. But there's that. Um, the Beatrix docky will be from the Comiket one or the Comiket uh, C89 package. Uh, it's definitely a nice, nice artwork though. I I don't know anything about Beatrix. Haven't started scratch marking yet, but. She is definitely a looker, like a lot of the Mob Love girls. Uh, and usually with these comic cats, they come with a second docky as well. So next up is the Elfride docky, Elfrida docky. Um, and I don't believe this has been added to the Kickstarter docky list. It's just Beatrix. Um, so as far as I know, the only way is to get this is from Comic Ket. Uh, funny that I have this because I've uh, I just recently started reading TDA Chronicles 02 or something like that and uh, I, I really like Elfride. Her, her character is a very very bubbly very colorful. Um, but moving on we'll look at some art books here. Move this aside. And here we are. Uh, I can see it really. Yeah. Uh, this is more of a just a settings art book of uh, I guess the background for Love Love. Open it up here. Run through it real, real quick. It's a little small book of, uh, I guess, random, random background images. Pretty neat, I would say. So there's that. Uh, next up is another art book that comes with the package is Move Love Alternative Next Answer, Visual Complete, Volume 1. Um, I skimmed through this, and I will be completely honest. It is one of, if not the best art book I now currently have. There are many, many artworks in here that I have never seen and are very detailed and uh, very nice looking. 
So I'll try to flip through some of it here. Bunch of artwork of the characters. Um, some TSFs as well. Get a better better way of doing this. Uh, I guess not. I guess I'll just kind of shuffle through this. This is a fairly large book, um, and what I like about it is that there's unlike Integral Works, which is kind of just a, a Bible, along with uh, you know pretty pictures. This is mostly just an art book, purely just an art book. Uh, a lot of the pages are uh, covered mainly by artwork and pictures instead of uh, long walls of text. So it's very nice. These artworks I've never seen before. They're very detailed. And it's a fairly large book as well. So I'm, I'm digging it a lot. Seeing how this is volume one, I'm guessing they're going to come out with more, which uh, by all means, some great stuff in here. Yeah, so there's that. Probably shouldn't go. Uh, and then, moving on, we have more dog tags. Specifically, uh, this one is Maya's dog tag. That came with Comic Kit. Uh, I believe I got some other dog tags in the uh, eBay package that I got one of my videos, uh, last video or one or the other. Ooh, just camera's shaking a little bit. There we go. Uh, this one I like better just because uh, it has the Valkyries symbol and then their model. And then uh, after that, it's obviously Maya's uh, dog tag info. So yeah, thought it was kind of neat. After that, we have this thing. What is it? It's just a box. It says uh, the usual Schwarzmark and lingo. Open it up, and then bam! It's a little, uh, little cup slash carabiner. I don't know. I don't know if it's one or the other, or it's both. But it's uh, it's it's very nice. It's uh, all metal with the Schwarz mark in usual logo and text, and yeah. Just a cool little thing to have. I'm not quite sure what I would really use this for. I mean, I could drink out of it, but nah. Collector's purposes, we're not, we'll never do that. Uh, so yeah, let's put this back in here. And lastly, we have an age calendar. Pretty much just all mobile. Yeah, list list all mobile here. Uh, so yeah, let me see if I can get the whole thing. It's pretty nice. Uh, I'll see if I can do this. Get what I can, do what I can. It also has some nice artwork in it as well.
All right, yeah, I guess that's good enough. Uh, and that's that's it for the uh, latest Kamaket 89, I believe, package from Love Love. Uh, that's all the items that will be included in that package or uh, that people will get uh, at the convention. I have one one extra that I bought along with this C89 package. Um, and it's just this, another LD Lunatic Dawn volume. I have still lost track of how many Lunatic Dawns I have. Uh, however, I, I know which ones I don't have and I just go ahead and just buy them. So we'll uh, skim through this some more or we'll skim through this. I really like this photo. Um, I forgot her name. She was uh, Yui's rival slash friend in um, the early days. But uh, not just that, but I just really like traditional clothes. Kimonos and uh, the like. So I thought this uh, caught my eye. Um, but moving on, LD is usually Ludic Dawn just has uh, mostly just info in it. Of course, info I cannot read. Uh, nor will I be reading in the translated Kickstarter one because I believe it's only Lunatic Dawn 1 through 5, and this is Lunatic Dawn 9. So, hoping Dejika can get more stuff translated. I'm sure they will have faith in them. So yeah, there's that. Uh, that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you en enjoyed. Um, hope you guys also like the new camera and camera setup. This uh, should be a whole lot easier to showcase things. Uh, instead of fumbling around with one hand holding my uh, phone camera and the other one, you know, trying to mess with uh, mess with the items and all. Um, and yeah, besides that, catch you next time.